Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Today's video is gonna be this chimney up here. I know I mentioned that in my last video and showed y'all a little bit about it. So I wanna turn you around and show you what I've ordered and what I'm using for this chimney pipe build. So in the previous video, I also showed you some uh, EMT conduit. So I'm gonna show you what I've done with that so far. Okay, so this is what I ordered. I ordered it from Home Depot. Uh, and it's, from what I understand, it's some of the best stuff you can get at a reasonable price. It's called Duravent. Uh, this is the Dura Black. It's six inch black coated pipe that's already together. It's already riveted together or seamed. Actually, it's not a rivet. It's just seamed together already for you. And you, you don't have to put this together. It comes already shaped like it's supposed to. This is a piece I just have left over. Uh, I didn't use this piece, so I'll send it back and get my money back. Uh, this piece here is the trip. This is actually triple wall. Let me see if it's actually, no, it doesn't even say it anywhere. This is the triple wall and this is a three foot piece. And this is what I'm gonna put on top of the ceiling, on top of that pipe right up there. And then I will, today's video is gonna be about me securing it to the, the roof. In yesterday's video, I showed you this right here. My EMT conduit was 10 foot long, two pieces, a half inch piece and a three quarter inch piece so they can slide in and out of each other. Let me show you what I've done with them. Cut it into four pieces. So I've got four five foot pieces here. And then I shaped one end of each piece. This is just flattened out. Y'all saw that and it just goes in a vise. And then on the half inch piece, I actually rounded the uh, ends like this. And this is not sharp at all now because I've filed it down but looks good. This is exactly what I want. I will put a quarter inch hole in each piece, one for now. So it is very windy today. I, I picked a good temperature day to do this. Today's Thursday. It's gonna be around 60 something degrees today. So the temperature is great, but the wind, it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse throughout the day. So I need to get a jump on this and get started. I think the wind's roughly 18 miles an hour with gusts around 25, like right now. Y'all can't hear it, I know, because of the mic, but it's there. I mean, it's, it's windy. Well, this isn't good. Look at this, y'all. I pulled this out of the box, and I guess I should have done this last week sometime, so I could have sent it back or something, but look at that. It's uh, bent. It's bent right here. It's bent. I don't know if y'all can see that side, but it's bent here. It's come completely out of this portion of the... I mean, this is part of the double wall side and this is the, another single wall. So it's a triple wall pipe. I'm gonna have to go up to the roof and see exactly how that one looks. I may be able to fix this, but I don't know. I mean, this will be the top of it. So this is, would be the last place that the, you know, the air escapes. I need to turn around and look at the bottom side down there and see if it's the same way. It's not good. I guarantee it left the factory fine. It was UPS or FedEx, whoever delivered it, I can't even remember. Probably damaged it. So let me run up top and look at it. There's no way I can video me carrying this up there and all that, because it's going to take two hands to carry it. But hold on a second. Okay, I believe I do have it fixed. So I had to tap in. So this ring here, this portion goes inside the pipe, fits inside the pipe. And I may need to bend that a little bit better, but I had to a little bit of hammering to get it adjusted correctly i think once i put the cap inside of here it'll hold it in place a little bit better as well i'll inspect this over the next few days and make sure this stays like it's supposed to all right y'all look at that it fit fine everything was okay the cap fit really snug so that's probably better but like i said i'll keep an eye on that and if it starts to fail in any way i'll make sure i send it back i won't take you up there and show you real quick so this is what i'm walking up and this is a 10 foot ladder, just to give you reference. Then I just step over and walk across the seam. That's what we'll do now. Ugh, I think I can do this with one hand and a camera. I just couldn't do it with a camera and a pipe in my hand. And I mean a chimney pipe, not a smoking pipe.
So I just stay on the seam. This is the seam all the way down. That way you're not bowing this. But you can step on this, it's fine. It will bow a little bit, but it's strong enough for you. Okay, so that is a little over five foot out of the roof. So that's pretty good. And that's what I needed. What you do is you measure from where the pipe comes out, 10 feet, and whatever that distance is, and that height of the ceiling, there's a whole calculation for this, and I've already forgotten how to explain it, but the reason I went with five foot is because it told me I needed five feet on that calculation out of the roof from where I'm putting it. If I would have put the pipe closer to the ridge, I've only, I've only, I only would have needed maybe two and a half feet or so. Okay, I do want to show y'all this is a chimney boot. It's meant for chimneys, to go around chimneys. And you can see I uh, put screws everywhere. I siliconed under the boot. I put screws everywhere and then siliconed on top of the screws. I don't think I'm gonna have any leak problem. It's already rained quite a bit and I have not had any leaks whatsoever. And of course I didn't show you all this on video, but all right, let's make our way back down and I'm gonna show you the rest of this process on bracing this chimney pipe. By the way, by code, anything over five feet must be braced on your roof. So that's why I'm bracing it, because it is 62 inches. Okay, I'm gonna show you all the rest of the pieces that I've purchased at home. I bought all this, by the way, at Home Depot. Um, and I really don't know what some of it's called, so you'll just have to find it in the Home Depot aisles. This strapping that I bought, I, I'm pretty sure it's part of a roofing strapping, so you just go to the roofing area. So these are the straps I'm talking about. I bought a three foot one and a 24 foot one. I bought two brackets. Here's one and here's one. And this, this will be mounted to the actual roof. Um, of course, my bolts and nuts. Uh, you'll need a quarter inch drill bit. And that's really all you need other than the two pipes that we purchased, the half inch and three quarter inch. So I also marked the middle of both of these straps because they need to line up, up on that pipe. This will be in the middle of the pipe facing forward where this is this will be something we always see or this strap these two straps but i want it in the middle uh facing straight towards the front yard so behind the pipe is where everything's going to come together and cinch with these bolts it'll make a lot more sense when i show you me doing it and then after it's done it'll make a lot more sense and i got a lot of a lot more bolts and nuts too. I bought some washers just in case, but I don't think I'm gonna need them. Okay, so I'm gonna take you up there with me. I wanna take this 36 inch strap and we'll get started. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. That's the middle of the strap. And I want that, that middle portion of the strap on the middle of the pipe that's facing forward towards our front yard, which is straight behind me. So I'm gonna wrap this around and uh, cinch it up real quick. Okay, so this is the first strap. You see it's, it's lined up in the middle, so that's good. And this is all you gotta do for now. So now I'm gonna put a mark with a just a black Sharpie on both sides where I need to drill my quarter inch hole so I can get my bolt through there. And once I tighten that bolt up, it'll, it should cinch this around this pipe. Chickens are kinda of hungry. I think I need to go feed them here in a little bit. It's kind of a cool view from the top of the roof. Not even using a drone. I need to go pick that up. beautiful out here I got a really cool video coming out for y'all after this one sometime in the future but it'll be multiple day video because today's temperature is so gorgeous it's so awesome it's a little windy but the temp is over 60 but it's not gonna stay like that and it's gonna fall in a hurry and it's gonna fall fast the temps are gonna be terrible uh, but I'm gonna make something out of it so so make sure you come back for that video later in the week okay y'all as you can see I've, I've put my mark on here on both ends of this strap, I'm now I'm just going to drill the quarter inch hole through it. Okay, y'all can see the new hole right here. I actually had to take it to the shop and clamp it down to, to put the hole in it because it's just flimsy and that drill just wants to move all over the place. So here's the other end, it's done as well. I'm gonna take it back up there, take me a bolt and a nut and tighten it up. Okay, y'all, you can kind of see what it's done now. It's cinched up, it's not going anywhere. There's no way that thing will move, but I still have to take this back off because I have to put some screws through here to hold this second strap one. And that's what we're gonna do now. 
So the second strap, I will line the same center line up with this center line. You see that one? I'll line this one up and I'll form it around this and then it'll have bolts in here to hold on to the pipe that's going this way. It'll make sense when you see it. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. So this is my 36 inch strap that goes around the pipe. This is the two foot strap. I've got them clamped together right in the middle. So they are in the middle with each other, okay? Now I'm just gonna drill a hole right here and put a bolt through it. And then the same over here. I'm gonna try to make them, make sure they're in the same spot. Okay, so now I wanted to show you that I have the two straps clamped to the table with this uh, Craig jig clamp. That way it won't move and I'm certain it'll go through all the way and I'll have, it'll be perfect. So I find that if you go slow like that, instead of just going full force all at once, you'll have a smoother cut. All right, now I just gotta put the bolt through here. And you make sure you come in from the back side so your nut will be on the front side. And so the whole bolt actually will be on the front side. Because my 10 foot pipes that I cut into, my 10 foot EMTs that I cut into five foot pieces, they will bolt onto this and get another nut on top of it. That's what's gonna hold them. Okay, y'all, you can see the finished product on the strapping, this is done. I kind of stopped tightening. I, I'm pretty sure that's tight enough. And plus, I'm starting to dent this, and I don't really want to dent it any further, if you can see that. I don't know how clear that comes in. So now it's just all about measuring the pipe in the right spot. So I'm going to make sure. I'm going to definitely put it on this beam right here that's going across in the living room. I'll screw my brackets probably all the way up against the edge right here. And then I'll measure that distance to the middle of this and I'll go over the same distance because I want it to be kind of square. That shouldn't take much, but I'll just try to show you some of that if it's just, it's so windy, I can't even, I've tried to set my phone up on the tripod with an angle. It just blows over instantly. It is so windy up here. It's just gonna continue to get windier, more and more windy. So I wanted to show y'all the silicone. I, I put a ton of it. And if you guys are doing this, make sure you use a 500 uh, Fahrenheit or 500 degrees Fahrenheit RTV high, high heat silicone and seal it. You don't necessarily have to use it here, but you certainly want to make sure you use that sealant around your pipe. It's meant for high temperatures because this pipe will still get pretty hot, even though it's triple walled, it will get warm. So this will go here. I'll put one screw in it for now. That way it can rotate. Okay, y'all, I want to smooth that out so the rain kind of washes over it. But that's got two screws in it. Obviously, you see this bolt here? Oh, it's those are the self tapping screws, the same screws you see here. Uh, that's gonna hold forever, that ain't going anywhere. I probably will add one more here. Just put a hole here and put another bolt and nut in there. And then it comes through here. You can see, this is the angle I put on it so that it's parallel with the pipe, I guess, in a way. Uh, put washers on both sides, nutted it, and then I'll probably put another nut on top of here as well. Now I just got to do this side here. And what I'm going to do is make a mark right up here in the middle. So what I want to do is make a mark, uh, find a center line and mark it right up here. Measure over so I have the same measurement here so that these poles look square. Oh, one other thing. Uh, let's let me show you on this one as you can see I'll show you these both of these real quick. That's already got the angle that I need same as this one and then also One thing I did not show y'all earlier I forgot Was I've got two holes on here and this one. It's underneath. I think it's on the underneath side. I don't, yeah, you can't see it It's on the other side but that's what's gonna lock these two in place. So I'll put some self-tapping screws in there and that'll lock these two poles together. But I don't wanna do that until I get this pipe level again, making sure that it's level. Okay, y'all, it is complete. 
I'm gonna make sure all the bolts are tight, clean up my mess. I've smeared all this in really good. Shouldn't have any leaks whatsoever. My next step is just to make sure that this is level the best I can, which is actually plumb, not necessarily level, but plumb. So I want this pipe straight up and down. If you can do two sides, the whole pipe will be square. So I will do that real quick. Lock these together, lock them in with the self-tapping screws right here. Lock those in together, we'll be good. Okay, y'all, I am finished, it is complete. And I'm telling you, this thing is not going anywhere. It is solid. Let me turn you around. You can see, I mean, that thing is solid. That's not budging. So I wanna thank Mike's DIY Projects channel. He did an awesome job explaining how to do this. I did not. I just did it and kind of wanted to show my subscribers really. So if you're interested in doing this project, Mike's DIY Projects, I'll link it in the description. He does a, a great job of describing this and he saved me probably 130 bucks at least because this stuff was not expensive. I spent less than 30 bucks probably. Maybe less than 20, I don't know. Because the pipe is not very much. The bolts and nuts are not very much and that strapping is cheap. So I'm very satisfied this is gonna last forever. A tornado will take it apart, but none of our high winds will. So I actually got Brennan up there looking at stuff. Uh-oh, you... he's finding some uh, loose stuff. <laughs> he found a missing screw, or actually where a screw was just never put. There was no hole there. That, but... that screw wasn't even in. It wasn't even in? Yeah. So Brennan just got here, so he would have he would have helped me do all this, but he wasn't here. Another thing, Brennan, this is what Brennan does for a living right now. <laughs> it's loud. He puts up metal buildings. That's what he's doing right now. He's doing all the welding, the sheet metal, all he's learning all of that through this. He's learning the whole process. And eventually he is putting his house way up there by the county road on the other side of the shop. Okay, I kind of want to give you all a shot from down here. And you can see it looks, I mean, it looks good. It looks level. This will be that straight on shot I was talking about. It looks even. I'm happy with it, y'all. That did really, really well. Saved me a lot of money. All right, and hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Brendan's standing right at the door with River. Should I go over there and let y'all take a quick peek of River? Yeah, I have to. Let me, let me show you River. So Brennan said he's a little cranky. Let me get around here. Hello, Bubba. Hi. You sure are pretty. It's time to eat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's hungry. Did I say that again? I said his food's right there. Yep, that is his food, <laughs> mama. All right, you gotta enjoy a little quick picture of River. He's, uh, he's adorable. So again, I wanna thank Mike over at Mike's DIY Projects from one Mike to another. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, that was very helpful, saved me a lot of money. I doubt you'll ever see this video, but just in case you do, thank you. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Let me know what you would have done differently or if you think it's good enough. All right, we'll see y'all on the next video. Remember, do the good. At the Feller family farm Come along and ride with us Through this life journey we go through At the Feller